A couple of months ago, we packed up everything in the kitchen and, well, everything in the house for that matter, and moved out of Las Vegas. Our destination, Pahrump. It's a little rural town with about 50,000 people that's about 60 miles away from Las Vegas. The reason for that is we really needed the space and I wanted to do something that's unprecedented on YouTube. We're putting up a tough shed on our property and we're gonna convert it into a YouTube studio kitchen. First, we had to pick the right property. No, not that one. There's our new house. And we have a half an acre so we got plenty of room to build. The first step was staking off the space and then a couple of weeks later we had the concrete poured. I did the slab 12 by 16, that way I've got 192 square feet on the slab which gives me about 160 square feet for the kitchen. The next step was having Tough Shed come out. So I went onto their website, designed my shed, picked out all the options I wanted, and did my purchase through Home Depot. This past week they came out and did the setup. Since I already had the 12 by 16 slab, they left the floor off of the Tough Shed and built straight onto my concrete. Other than that, we had to make a few modifications. After picking the type of Tough Shed I wanted and excluding the floors, we got rid of the shed door and we're putting in double residential doors. Also, we put in a residential four by six window to go over the sink. In addition to that, we had them build the height an additional one foot. That way I could be sure I have at least nine foot tall ceilings. We added radiant barrier to go underneath the roof panels and we had them do a vapor barrier along the inside of the walls. That way it would be at least sort of set up to convert in the living space. Also, we upgraded the roof shingles to something with a lifetime warranty. As far as the studio goes, putting up the shed is the last part that I'm actually hiring out to do. I'm teaching myself how to do everything else through YouTube actually. So we're going to be doing a series over the next year or so, however long it takes to get this thing built. And in every video, we're going to update progress, show you what I've done, and you'll have a chance to comment down below just in case you think I'm making horrible mistakes, which I probably will be. Anyway, I'm really excited about this project and I think it's really cool to be able to share it with all of you. Okay, I'm gonna show you what we've done so far with the studio. We got pancakes up here for our coach lights, right there and right over here. Coming around the side here, we've got one of our outdoor receptacles right there, all waterproofed. You see, we don't have any receptacles in there yet. And when you have something wired up in here, you can pop that out and pop it back in. We got the beginnings of our air conditioning disconnect. Around the other side, we have another receptacle. And here's our kitchen window from the outside. We had Tough Shed build this for us with French doors. I thought that was a nice option. And here's what the inside looks like right now. Sorry about the echo, but uh, there's not really a whole lot we can do about it. You can see I'm just starting on my rough electrical. Right here is uh, the inside area for that AC disconnect. And that right there is for that receptacle that was right next to it. And the one on the other side. Here is the spigot for the refrigerator. When Tough Shed put this together for me, they knew what I was gonna be doing with it. So they did it with vapor barrier all around the inside for me already. That's gonna make my job a lot easier. Right there's a power receptacle for the range hood. And if you look way up there, let's zoom in. You can see a little X up there. That's where the vent is gonna exit the building. Here's what my setup looks like for those two coach lights from the inside. We haven't done any of the wiring yet. Got a junction box up there too that I'm gonna to use to tie the two coach lights together. Here goes our electrical sub panel. That right there is a Leviton Smart sub panel. So all the breakers that go in here are actually go in wireless. You wire everything up here on the sides already and the breakers just pop in at the very end. So I can do all my electrical wiring without having any breakers in there at all, which is nice, especially if you don't want to get electrocuted. Also, all the breakers have the ability to be smart. So you can get an app and you can track all your power usage uh, per circuit, turn your circuits off remotely. Right here is where all the toggle switches are gonna be. I'm gonna have the kitchen lights, the LED lights, uh, the coach lights outside and everything all on separate circuits. They're all going to be Alexa enabled so you'll just be able to talk to it and turn your lights on and off just like we have set up in our house. I already got all the electrical boxes placed here. Our peninsula is going to be right there. Then we got our oven, some countertop. This is where the cooktop is going to be with that vent going straight up over here. The corner with a Lazy Susan in it, dishwasher. Here goes where the sink is going to be, and that's right below that window. And then our refrigerator hookup is right there. There is the water supply for it. 
And we're gonna have a cabinet back here in the corner. We got a box up here with pass-throughs for HDMI cables for cameras. Right there, right over here, here, over there, one right here, and right here is gonna be set up for a 50 inch television sitting right there. And all the TV cables are gonna terminate down there and then we'll have a computer sitting here or something like that. And the last little cool thing is Tough Shed has the option to get radiant barrier. And what that is is kind of a aluminum foily looking stuff that goes on the bottom of the roof panels. And that actually does a really good job reflecting heat back out. So that's gonna help our insulation a lot. And the last thing I wanted to show you was the ceiling. So it's basically gonna follow that line right there all the way across. So what I'm gonna have to do is buy a whole bunch of two by six joists and I'll have to install those across the wall back there and attach to each one of these rafters coming across. And after that, I'm gonna have to put in some strapping that are gonna kind of come across this way. And those are gonna be so we can hook all the drywall up to it. And we're also gonna have probably six or eight LED lights here as well. I'm really, really excited about this. This is something that's unprecedented for YouTube because as far as I know, nobody's built a kitchen for a cooking channel in one of these tough sheds. In fact, I don't know that anybody who's done anything anywhere near as complicated as this. So it should be pretty neat. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope to see you again really soon. And until that time, I'm Joe and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.